<laughs> That's typical of us to get lost. <laughs> Alright, we're going on a hunt for some blueberries. We're visited by everyone absolutely famous in Scottish history. We're going to go down to a little sea walk down just down the road here in a. Um, we're in Upper Crawton Park, which is in Crawton. Well, very close to Crawton. We found an RSPB nature reserve place down there. It's a little seaside walk. We're going to go and try and find this hidden waterfall that comes down onto the beach. So that should be quite good. Don't chew nothing. I'm trying to remember to get into the habit of putting the alarm on. Not that you need it here, but insurance and all that if you don't do it, I suppose. See you in Crawton. Ooh. Quite sunny, it's quite, it is quite bright. This is the Fowl's Hugh Nature Reserve and it's in Crawton and it says this is where the waterfall walk is. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky. It might feel just like you're on your own, but baby, it's another lie. Remember, you were me. I try to fly. work, 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 but it doesn't work. I try to say something. I wasn't sure what to expect when we came out to the East Coast. Wow, that's, that's some very beautiful areas. And stuff. And of course, Chance is always happy, no matter what's going on, as long as he's out. It's a nice place for a gentle stroll though, isn't it, babe? Alright, we're coming to an unprotected cliff edge. So, uh, we need to be careful. Oh, yes, yes, nice pictures here and you got the wind farm just out there wait for me oh yes that's what I was hoping to see So it looks like the waterfall. I don't know if it's accessible or not though. It's that way. So we'll have to walk back along here. Yeah, I recommend this little walk, eh? I bet it's beautiful first thing in the morning as a live now. How's your glue holding up on your boots, Lorna? Seems to be fine. Yeah. We've been gluing Lorna's boots for a few weeks now. <laughs> and uh, mine aren't too bad, but fortunately that brings us on to something we'll be doing a bit in a little while. You've probably heard of the company Fitville. Well, they asked us if we'd like to have some free boots to try and uh, just to give a little review on. So uh, we obviously said yes, please. And uh, they've, they're in the post. Something we'll be doing a review on uh, for definite because basically can't turn down free boots. <laughs> And we know from watching Trevor and Pat's videos just how comfortable these boots are supposed to be. So we can do our own test on them. And, um, but everyone who's got a pair raves about them, so we certainly weren't going to turn those down. We'll, uh, we'll keep you updated on what, it's, what they're like. I know, yeah. Rabbits. No sheep up here, is there? Yeah. Yeah, that. I'll try and zoom it in in post, but that's got to be the waterfall over there. There's only a little one. And then you've got that lighthouse a bit further on. The sun's right in our eyes here, but. What a place to live, though. I bet it's a bit bleak when it's raining, though. We'll have your house right on here. Lovely. Wow.
Here's the waterfall. A GS thousand, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen a GS thousand for ages. Let's see what pipe he's got on it. Yeah. So, don't know what that, what that, what that pipe was. Oh, hang on, see. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm out of breath. Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen a GS thousand for ages. Nice. You don't often see them out. No, no. I've had bikes myself all my life, so. Huh? Yeah. You still got one? No, no. Just sold me trike, actually. Yeah, yeah we've uh, started living in a motor home, so. We've uh, got no, you know, no better storeroom and stuff, yeah. so, yeah. Nice though. I used to go on the back of. Do you remember the S version, GS1000S? Yes, yeah, basically clean van. Yeah, I used to go on the back of one of them up to Chelsea Bridge before I'd pass me test yeah. every day. Yeah, on the old cruise thing up there. Yeah, yeah, nice bike. Yeah, lovely. Nice to meet you. Good Have you had a drink now? All right, we're going on the hunt for some blueberries. I don't know where we're going to get blueberries, unless we go to a supermarket. Let's just go to a drive, see where we end up. One of the other good things about Stonehaven, being so close to the site, is the fact that there's a little co-op there. You can come in and get some stuff. Lorne has gone in to get some blueberries. And because uh, we're having muesli every morning on this diet. <laughs> I have lost a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. So yeah, we're going to get some blueberries, but um, yeah, there's a ton of charity shops down here in Stonehaven, so we'll be having a day looking at all that, and we've had a quick walk around the harbour, but we'll be coming back, and because uh, we want to find this greatest fish and chip shop in the UK, so, and we're just going to go back, have a bit of a chill, because that walk's left me a little bit breathless. <laughs> Which uh, I say I wasn't right yesterday, so something's going on, but never mind. Hopefully, it will be all good for tomorrow, and if the weather's good, we might even end up at Dunatour. Uh, yeah, it's quite a huge wood. Beautiful colour, isn't she? Chance gently. She's only You're... 21 months old. And well, she's just a, a year and a half. Wild. Just, she just wants to run though. This That's way. Good. Yeah. This way. It just, it's just that he gets so boisterous, he, we worry about him hurting other dogs. <laughs> Following this path, well, you can go down and cross a burn. There's like, if you, if you see where that log is, another path that goes down, and then you can walk along and cross a bridge, or you can keep going, you'll come to the same bridge. But if you keep going further up and, and go down to the river, you'll see um, Lady Kennedy's bath, where she, oh, the lady wow. used to own the estate. Yeah. She had it built for her. Oh, brilliant. And it's, if you can see the, the kind of ruins of it, you'll see. Hello, beautiful. Chance, this way. Chancellor. Oh my God, he's found another, he's found another two. Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, no, thank you. Chancer, come on. Come on, you. <laughs> it's Chancer's playtime. Chancer, come on. Hello, beautiful. Hello. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, good boy. Yeah, it is, yeah, absolutely. Come on, you've got to play nicely.
Well, that's quite pretty down there. Are they rhododendrons? Uh, yeah. If you know in the comments, I might use some of this now. If you know in the comments, are these rhododendrons? Lovely little burn though. We're actually on the search for Lady... Who? Who? Kennedy. Lady Kennedy's bathhouse. Now, I should put some information about Lady Kennedy up on the screen. Because right now, at this present moment, I don't actually know who that is. But we've been told it's down this way and very nice. I've got the feeling of the uh, Fairy Glen. Oh, that's the bathhouse there, look. You would have got into between the stones. A oh, clever way to build a bathhouse. Might be able to get a better view of it from up here. Lady Kennedy. And that's her bathhouse. I'm going to relieve Lorna in a minute because I think the chance of stressing her out a bit. Because as much as we absolutely adore that dog and love him to pieces, he can be very trying. But yeah, look, Lady Kennedy's bathhouse. How cool is that? I expect back in that those times the water would have been really, I bet it's still really rejuvenating I would imagine this would have been kept pristinely clean as well all these trees and logs and stuff in it oh absolutely amazing <laughs> well done <laughs> now I've got to try and do it I've just got to pull my trousers up it's a little bit deeper there oh that looks that looks slippy that looked easier than it actually was Oh. Let his focus get off them dogs. When we walk back this way, you might be able to let him off then. Hey. Oh, beautiful little spot there. <laughs> we do. And, uh, yeah. Fetch it then. Oh, you don't like what's the matter with you? <laughs> Donut. Good boy. Leave it then. Sit. Sit. And he hasn't Sit. run straight after the other dogs, so. In the water, babe. Well done. <laughs> That's typical of us to get lost. <laughs> it is, yeah, lovely woods. Very, very similar to Aldington Woods, yeah. which is uh, down in Kent, where we used to live. Isn't that we, where we went off? Ah, see, look, we never get lost. <laughs> Did you hear that? I said, we never get lost. <laughs> yeah, right. We found the car. It's just up 
there, look. But for now, we're gonna go and have a cup of coffee. We're visited by everyone absolutely famous in Scottish history. And there's your prices. So, now we're not going in there today. I've left Chance in the car, but we're on a scouting mission to see whether I could get down here and fly the drone over it and what the wind's like. And in case we don't get back down here, I just want to say in the description, I'm going to leave a link to a fantastic video all about this castle, the surrounding area, um, and it's absolutely brilliant. You can't take your eyes off it. And she goes, lady goes, Scottish lady goes right into the history of it all. And uh, all about William Wallace, Mary Queen of Scots, and, and everything. And it really is brilliant, isn't it? That, that documentary. And it's on YouTube, so I'll leave a link. So because there's not a chance in hell I could do this justice after watching that. No. 